Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Chi Chi or Get Fit With Chi. And this is about a lower body focused dumbbell only workout. You, if you don't have dumbbells, if you have a kettlebell. Um, firstly, when we're talking about lower body, I recommend higher weights, like anything as high as 25 to 30 pounds or higher. If you're working with 10 pounds for your lower body, it's not gonna do. And it's not gonna do why? Because our lower body is the biggest muscles on our body. It, it exerts the most. So we need to be using heavy weight when we're working to tone or build lean muscle for our lower body. I've already talked about a little bit about different tips and tricks that will um, maximize your workouts. But one thing I want to focus on um, kind of to end the series sort of is nutrition. You want, if you're building your muscles, um, if you want to build your legs or your glutes, you want to utilize certain supplements, including um, either a whey or pea isolate protein, depending on if you take in dairy or if you're a vegan, there are vegan proteins as well, because you need a high leucine content um, and you need um, high leucine and you need this protein for muscle protein synthesis. Um, it's incredibly difficult in our society with the food that is available to us to get an adequate amount of protein. So I do recommend a protein supplementation. I do also recommend um, creatine for muscle building. People, specifically women, tend to run away from creatine because they're worried about bloat, but there's a lot of data that supports creatine as well as letting you know that it's not going to actually create this bloat. And I'm gonna do an entire video about this when I have time, when medical school is not on my neck, I will make an entire video about supplementation. But because one, this these videos and this series is for personalized programs that I've created for people, um, I wanna just emphasize that I recommend protein, I recommend creatine, I recommend eating something an hour before your workout or immediately after your workout. And the reason I recommend this is because, again, an anabolism, you want your body to be in an anabolic state. So if you ate an hour before and you don't eat until an hour later, that's fine. But if you don't eat before you work out, like it's the morning and you haven't broken fast, I recommend eating as quickly as you can. The science community supports this method and trying to get somewhere around 20 to 30 grams of protein per meal, that is really something you want to focus on. Protein decreases your appetite greatly. So you want to increase your protein, not just for anabolism, but to also kind of like help you remain in a caloric deficit if your goal is fat loss, if your goal is weight loss. All right, so these are just some quick, 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 quick um, things I wanted to mention before this video started, but without further ado, feel free to continue watching this video and watch some lower body strategies and workout tips and form. Comment, like and subscribe thank you so much for your time i really appreciate it i really am happy to have this, this content out for you so let me know if you have anything else you'd like to see on youtube and i will make it thank you so much and we start here with goblet squats you want to keep the dumbbell or kettlebell in front of the body unlike the sumo squat for glute work your feet you try to keep parallel and shoulder width um, instead of pointed out. And here we have a temple goblet squat. Here's another variation where the dumbbell is placed in front of your body near your chest. And you wanna focus on keeping your back neutral and driving through your heels. And not coming all the way up. You do not want to fully extend your knees. Maximize that time under tension. All right, here we have step ups, which are great for your quads. Uh, you want to find something a little bit more stable than this bench. I was working with limited availability. This is not my usual gym. And you want to keep yourself firmly centered when you're stepping up. Abductions, and now there's two different ways to do abductions. This is a focus on your gluteus minimus and medius. You can either keep the dumbbell here 
across dumbbell or kettlebell across the body like so or in this variation you can put it under your knee so I guess it depends on the weight and how much you can actually carry behind the knee you want to have a slight forward lean and really focus on filling it on the outside of the glutes. Old fashioned hamstring curl, if you do not have access to machines or equipment, the goal here is to really work your hamstrings. So you want to be slow while contracting or during your concentric the shortening of your muscles. And then when you're lengthening, you wanna be as slow as possible as well to really engage your hamstrings. All right, and here we have a complex move, a deadlift into a squat. Again, your knees are not fully extended whatsoever. Your back remains neutral and in line with the rest of your body. And here you wanna really focus on keeping your hips open. <laughs> when it comes to deadlifts and squats, I usually don't have shoes on. You just, um, the data does support keeping your shoes off or having very flat shoes to focus on the load placement on your legs. And thank you for joining. I hope this was helpful.